Identifying bacteria is a common activity in the microbiology lab. The process is a lot like playing a game of Clue. You know, every time you gather a piece of information, it supports some of the suspects and eliminates others from consideration. The process of the game continues as you gather more information until only one suspect remains. All the others have been eliminated as possibilities. The same goes when you're identifying bacteria. It is a process of elimination based on logic and clues provided from carefully performed tests to determine the capabilities of your unknown microbe. Deductive reasoning, the stuff of Sherlock Holmes. The clues used in the microbiology lab are your observations of the shape, morphology, gram reaction, and the results from biochemical tests performed using a pure culture of your unknown microbe. We start with all possible species found in the matrix. As test results are entered, all microbes not fitting the profile are eliminated. That is, all bacteria giving positive results for a test are eliminated when you enter a negative result. Every time you enter a positive result for a test, species that would give a negative result are eliminated. The clues are used to eliminate from consideration all bacteria that don't match up. The exceptions to the rule are the bacteria giving results of bracketed pluses or minuses or a D, which remain possibilities until eliminated by a clear positive versus negative test result. In Vumi Online, you can access the ID matrix from the ribbon above the lab. A way of gauging how much progress is being made in the ID process is to open the virtual lab report. There you will see how each test result reported has affected the number of microbes eliminated. Ideally, every test conducted would reduce the number of possible species in half, just as how each round of March Madness basketball tournament reduces the number of possible national champions in half. Smart testing reduces the number of tests needed to provide an identification. Doing tests that fail to eliminate anything is a waste of time and resources and gets you nowhere closer to completion. The job of the microbiologist is to determine which tests are useful for skillfully reducing the number of possible identities until only a single name remains. That name is the identity of the unknown, the only microbe with test results identical to those that you recorded for your unknown. There are 70 species of gram-negative bacilli that are possible unknowns for you in Vumi Online. So how do you get started? Our suggestion is you complete some basic tests known to be very useful for identifying bacteria of this type. They are glucose fermentation along with gas production from glucose, lactose fermentation, results from the triple sugar iron auger medium, TSIA, the Invic series, Indole test, Methyl Red test, Volks Proskauer test, and Citrate Utilization test, and the Motility test. By starting with these tests, you will be able to reduce the number to 10 to 20 possible IDs. At that point, it is time to begin consulting the ID matrix to find useful tests for completing the identification. Here are some pointers to help you. If you ever get to a point where no possible bacteria are left, you have made a mistake. Our software ensures that if you do your tests and interpret them correctly, you will always end up with a single unknown microbe. If you need to do a test over, simply select the medium again for that test and redo it. If your interpretation changes, you once thought it was negative, but now you see it's actually positive. Record the updated result. This should recalculate the ID matrix to put you back on track. Remember that you can do several tests and have several inoculated media in the incubator at the same time. No need to be part of the one test a day crowd. And your instructor might reward you for economy of time. You may not have a choice of how long you are given to complete your unknown. If your unknown was assigned as a save the patient or STP unknown, you will have to accomplish your identification in three days or less. So, you have a roadmap for getting started identifying your gram-negative bacillus. 
and you have a strategy for finishing the job. Happy hunting!